It's the guard dog. Be careful, he's the world heavyweight champion. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> on three. Let's do this. Oh, nice. Kieran, my coach this morning has joined us for coffee. I've nearly finished yesterday's video and I've realised like the last three or four videos have been 15, 16 minutes long and I don't know how that's even happening. I get to the end and I'm like, what? <laughs> Give me your opinion down below how, if they feel long. I just want, I want... I'm not even sure if I bought the kettle. <laughs> just for... I know I featured it on yesterday's vlog, but she got the best of me by Luke Combs. It's just my new favorite song. I was listening to it, and I got this through the post, and I don't even know. What I literally love getting stuff through the post that I don't know what it is. It's so exciting. It's from. It's from an. It's from an. Uh, I can't it's from an. I can't say the name. It's from. From an. Uh, <laughs> it's from an. Um, it's from an Adam Emmanuel from Vancouver, Canada, who's part of the team. You guys, best guys in the world. Oh. Whoa. Vancouver Canucks. I don't know what they are. They're a professional ice hockey team. That's cool. Nice. CrossFit New West. I love, oh. I love CrossFit t-shirts. I've got another one. Wicked. Thanks for everything you do, Craig. You are an inspiration to many people around the world. So happy to see you channel growing. I hope to come to England one day. I hope you come too because I would love to meet you. Good luck in the open. Adam, you are amazing. Bro, I gotta go to the gym. Stop playing the sad card. Look. I think one night we're gonna have to take him to the box because we need to get him accustomed to the barbells dropping because I want him to be our little box dog. Stay, stay, <laughs> <laughs> oh, No, 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 no. Maybe tomorrow. Tonight's travel song is brought to you by a guy called Dinant. He said because we like Luke Combs, we have to listen to this guy. So it's going to be our travel music to the box, courtesy of a subscriber. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Woo! Feeling it. Feeling it. Hello. Don't, don't you want to do the what again? No. I've just done some extra stuff. Just doing some deads. Nice. John Dunham and Ages. John from the Lean Machines was expecting you to be there yesterday. Well, I was pretty tired. Sorry, John. Next time. <laughs> everyone loved your transformation. Aww. Adam, everyone loves my stash. They're all like playing yeah, with like my hat it. and the t-shirt. <laughs> Kieran approves. Yeah. I was there, he wouldn't show it me earlier. I had to wait <laughs> to unbox it officially. I don't know, I did it, sat in a parcel, and he just left it. I was, I'd be ripping it. You're always doing more. <laughs> you can never do enough, boy. Never do enough. <laughs> What do they feel like? Okay. Yeah, they make you look they make you look ten years younger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do I need a cup as well? Oh nailed it. Oh man. How old are you Ed? Twenty. <laughs> I think I lost my shoes. They're gone. Look at him. <laughs> he looks good. He looks good. He looks good. Looks good! His mobility has come on so much in the last like six months. He's put in the work and it's paying off. It's good to see. How yeah, happy. <laughs> Out of ten? Yeah, no, that's good. You're right in the heels. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are they? <laughs> what I, don't, are I, don't, they? I, don't, I don't see what's wrong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look! Whoa. <laughs> uh, Tony. Oh, hey, nice to meet you. Where have you come from? Uh, Munich. Wow. Okay, so we've had a drop in tonight. He's here on business, but because of the vlogs, he's seen favor and he's dropping in to do the class. All the way from Munich. <laughs> this is what I love about vlogging. Oh, the pain of rolling out the high T-bone. I've got, yeah, I've got the soft one. I know I've gone for the soft, smooth one. Yes, I know. <laughs> what 
is going on team? Craig would you back one of the commentary over this EMOM. So what it was, was three clean and jerks every minute on the minute for 12 minutes, gradually building up in weight. 36 clean and jerks in total. Had a little bit of a game plan going into it. I wanted to work and concentrate just more on my form while I was doing it. I wanted everyone to be a squat clean and a good split jerk. And my plan wasn't really to go too heavy because Saturday we hit a PB in snatch and we did quite a lot of snatch on Saturday. And then and the video you saw yesterday, we built up to a heavy clean and jerk. So my body going into tonight was a little bit fried, but I still pushed it. Started off at 60 kilos, then built up in fives or increments of two and a half, up to 95 kilos, which was my final set. But as you've probably seen on the screen, the last couple of sets were a power clean and power jerk, just because by the time I switched the plates, I'd run out of time to fully set up to do a really nice clean and jerk, let alone three of them. Even though I thought 20 seconds per lift would be a decent amount of time, it's really not when you're looking at changing plates and recovering and whatnot. But just a really fun EMOM to work on barbell endurance and your strength as you fatigue. I just wanted to quickly add this little bit in here about my experience with, with the lifters. I was saying to the guys before we did the workout, I'm glad that I spent a year or so learning the snatch and the clean and jerk in my nanos the flat shoes that are well they're a lot more unstable and they don't have the heel on them because that has almost forced me and and my stability muscles around my joints to become more stable but also more importantly it's made me work on my mobility a lot more especially when getting into the bottom of a snatch and i think for me that's invaluable whereas if i started off in lifters that could have masked some of my mobility issues when i first came into crossfit and then if you're looking at it in more of a functional way if you come to do say squat snatches in a workout with running and other things where you're gonna wear your nanos if you're so used to lifting in lifters and having that 22 millimeter heel and you've not taken that time to build up the stability around the joints and build up your flexibility then you're going to be hindered but this was just a little point that came up with the guys and i just wanted to share it with you guys because it's, it's a good room and topic for discussion so if you want to put your theory on this down below i'm sure it could help a lot of people out who are thinking about getting lifters and and are maybe new to crossfit but for me my opinion is that you have to get your flexibility you have to get your mobility you have to get your stability before then really getting the lifters and relying on the lifters if that makes any sense at all. But anyway, we're gonna end this commentary here. If you are enjoying the video, please smash that like button. In the coming up stages, the next workout, you are gonna see me completely mentally and physically because my body was tired, just fall apart. And I wanted to keep it in here because it just shows that we all do it and I am no different to that. You will, yeah, just enjoy it. And the giveaway of the lifters is at the end of this vlog too, so. Smash that like button and we'll talk to you guys later on in the video. <laughs> Emon portion of the workout done. Tied up my shoes super tight and my feet were just screaming by like the third round. I was like, why have I done that? Anyway, now the workout is a Metcon. 15 grams overhead at 60 kg. Because we did clean and jerk in the first portion, we're following it through to clean and jerk in the second portion. So 15 clean and jerk. And then 15 bar over burpees, three rounds for time. 24 days to the open. We just gotta dig in now. These are the workouts that hurt, but the good ones.
told me one thing and one thing is to rest. I like walked away after the first round but I wanted to get the workout done. You know like when you're here you work and sometimes your 100% is definitely not going to be the same as 100% another day. I gave everything I had in that especially like <laughs> it's quite funny I didn't want the camera on me because I was like I was like half through, I just wanted to cry. <laughs> it's kind of kind of sad but um just my body was telling me like this that like I need to rest. Like, I just do. I need to eat more, I need to sleep more, I need to rest. It's kind of YouTube's one of those things, right, where you can have so many good days and you wanna stay on a roll and you just wanna hit training because that's how you make the videos and you come in and you kick ass in every workout and you give it your hundred percent. But a lot of the time that's not real. You need a day or two off and we we haven't. And my body was telling me then. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> You're probably thinking, where is the rest of the video? Why is it just completely shot from the gym to being at home the next day? It's because I had literally have no clue where it's gone. <laughs> I also realized that I needed to take the video tone up a little bit because yesterday was kind of a depressing workout. It was just a bad day. And today is a good day. But basically, I was just uploading my clips this morning from last night and realized that the last 30 or 40 clips that I shot of the day when we went to Adam's had food, showed you his fridge, realized that one of my videos got over 3,000 likes and it's never done that before. May have ate another cream egg and whatnot had just all disappeared. So I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. And then I got sent a message by Kenzie saying we've had, I'm gonna sit down for this. We had over 2,300 entries into the competition, 2,000. 300 of you guys. That was just mind blowing. How mind blowing is that? That's crazy. There's so many entries. So many. Kenzie from Whatever It Takes hasn't sent me a list, but she's told me to send her a number. So basically, there's a number between 1 and 2,323. Jasmine. Yeah. Your time has come. Give me a number. I'm going to text that to Kenzie, and we're going to get back to you very, very soon. Hey! What's that say? That says... Evie Burr. Evie Burr! Evie Burr is the winner! Nice! Evie, Evie Burr. We're, I think it's Evie, Dad. Evie Burr. Wow, well done. That's, uh, that's awesome. Okay, so we have a winner sent to us by Kenzie. An Evie Burr. E-V-I-E. But, so, you're the winner of the lifters. Whatever it takes, I'm gonna get in contact with you within the next couple of days. I hope to do more of these on the channel because I think they're awesome and I just wish every single one of you could win. <laughs> we'll get Sparky on it because dogs make vlogs. And on that note, which is uh, really cool, we're gonna end the video because this video's been a roller coaster. It's been a very high moment and then it was kinda sucked and then it's kinda picked back up again. We have an exciting night tonight to get some more footage with a crazy Olympic lifter and I'm gonna leave it at that. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button and comment, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Just remember, yesterday is history so I've like even forgotten about that bad workout. Tomorrow is a mystery so don't worry about what's to come, it's just coming. And today is a gift, like it says on my bracelet. And that's why it's called the present. I love that quote.